Hello everyone, my name is Carmel and I am a Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Universe and today I am giving you three things that you must have to uh, attract and manifest your Twin Flame Union. So let's just get straight into it, give you the good stuff. Um, the first thing that you must have to have your Twin Flame is, or to manifest them, this helps a lot, is to, uh, to stop blaming your twin flame and this isn't to be hard on you or to like throw it back at you um this is actually like spiritually helpful for you to attract your twin flame into your life and that's because um blame energy is very uh, harsh and repulsive and it never actually resolves the core issue and to be with your twin flame to have a sustainable and harmonious relationship with your twin flame, you have to actually um, resolve the, the problem that's causing the conflict in your relationship with them. And so your relationship with your twin flame is completely different to a soulmate relationship. It's nothing like you, um, you're with the soulmate and you can, you can bargain away and you can find a place where you both find an agreement and in that one place you'll move forward whilst you give up other areas of your life to move forward in this one area with your soulmate. With your twin flame, you, they are, your, they are you, like your perfect partner. They are designed perfect, perfectly for you. And this is a scientific fact. Your twin flame is, uh, was created with you from the same soul blueprint from the same design from the same essence so much so that they are your perfect partner perfect complement they partner they partner with you perfectly there's no dissonance right but you have to have a core harmony to experience that truth you have to be in core harmony with yourself to experience the harmony that you were created with uh, with your twin flame because we are beings and we have been given free will by god by the universe by source whichever you word or that you use for higher power or the creator we're given free will and we can use that free will and that power of choice to choose fear or to choose love right they're the two choices from the core that can be made right and we have we're old souls you know what i mean like we've been here for many many lifetimes and so sometimes you might in any moment you might have made some fearful choices and that those fearful choices separate you from your twin flame separate you from your inner harmony and therefore you and your twin flame separate right so that's why you have to actually resolve um your inner core back into harmony by choosing love in any of the places that you've chosen fear for you to actually be back in harmony with your twin flame as you were created with them and so blaming them and looking away from yourself looking away from the places where um you're upset and trying to project it outside onto your twin flame not resolving it within yourself isn't going to work it's just going to cause further separation from your twin flame because blame is based in fear and you can only be with your twin flame in love and if you want to know how to resolve blame or upset or projection on your twin flame union the mirror exercise by jeff and Shlia, my twin flame teachers my group my twin flame gurus is perfect for that i also use the mirror exercise and will utilize the mirror exercise pretty much in a whole coaching session if you move forward in a coaching relationship with me where I can guide you into your harmonious twin flame union. The second thing uh, that you must do to have your twin flame is take full responsibility for your life and your union. So this is similar to number one. Um, if you're avoiding yourself, if you're avoiding um the, if there's a problem if you and your twin flame aren't together and you're not willing to look 
within and find out why and to resolve that and take responsibility for that, then you're also stagnating and, and procrastinating your union from coming together. Because, um, because your twin flame is you, you are created as one, even if they're over there and it looks like they're the dumb one, they're the slow one, they're the one avoiding you, they're the one blocking you, they're the one not believing in twin flames, right? It's actually you. And that's why you have to really humble yourself because that's the truth of twin flames is they are literally you. And it actually is really like, it feels really bad to like hold on to blaming them, hold on to not taking responsibility for your relationship with your twin flame. So you have to take responsibility for your relationship with your twin flame, where it's at, if it's not working out, then you can go within and you can resolve that within yourself. Uh, twin flame coming back together is predominantly, like I say, almost like 100% in our work, in a work. Once you find peace within yourself, once you've healed your separation from love within yourself, your twin flame's gonna be there because you were literally created together as one in love. And whilst that's not the case, that just means they're showing you and mirroring to you where you've not chosen love. And hey, we don't know everything. We're pretty much noobs right now because very no one's like with their twin flame. Jeff and Shulia are in harmonious twin flame union permanently. They're on their way to perfect union with being each other. They've brought twin flame couples into harmonious union. They brought me into union with my twin flame. Their teachings work and that's what I'm wanting to share and extend with you so that if you're truly looking for it, I'm here and you found it and we can work together and help you on your twin flame journey too. Number three, love them and yourself unconditionally. Now, this is a lesson that I've had to learn because I've had to uproot a lot of like resentment and not taking responsibility and blaming my twin flame and seeing them as bad, all that stuff I had to uproot and heal within myself. And that's because the truth is you have to love yourself and your twin flame unconditionally for to ever have a real relationship with them at all, right? If you're not loving your twin flame unconditionally at the core and you are one, how can you expect that relationship to come together and work? Um, unconditional love doesn't mean accepting abuse. Unconditional love doesn't mean um, turning a blind eye to um, really bad patterns in your union that you may not have resolved yet. Don't be hard on yourself if you have patterns that you haven't resolved. No one's really got it yet, but we're well on our way. We've found the solution and we're implementing it. Um, but yeah, you have to love yourself and your twin flame unconditionally. You can just feel the difference that that makes when you love your twin flame unconditionally. They feel safe. They feel supported. They feel loved. They feel like that they can... Uh, take steps towards loving themselves and they can take steps towards growth because they have the support of your unconditional love. Whereas if you withhold that unconditional love and you choose to them and blame and to see them as not divine um, at the core, they're not going to feel like they have the support or very compelled to um, love themselves because they, they're just not going to feel supported by you. And why would you want to be with someone who doesn't love you unconditionally at the core anyway. So those are the three things that you must do to um, bring your twin flame back into your life, to remain with them in union. Don't blame them. Take responsibility for your healing and love yourself and them unconditionally. So, um, yeah, that wraps up this video. Uh, thanks for taking time to uh, like and subscribe this video, share it if it's helped you so we can help everyone. Uh, we've got to do this together. And if you feel compelled to explore investing in your union and being manifesting your twin flame into your life, I've got my coaching services below. Right now you can receive 50% off an introductory coaching session with me where we will um, get clear on where you are with your twin flame journey, what you'd like help with, and we can begin setting you up for success on your twin flame journey and also immediately begin dissolving the separation um, that you have in your union right now. Because if your twin flame is on your life right now, that means that there's currently inner blockages. Even if you're unable to see them yet, 
you aren't able to get clear on what the patterns are or the blocks, I will be able to help you because I've been doing this for many years myself with lots of success um, through Jack and Shalia's teachings. This is their book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. I highly recommend it. It's a great catalyst to you um, coming into harmonious union with your twin flame and setting yourself up with what you need. So thanks guys. Like, subscribe, share the video, comment, ask questions, and I will see you soon. Bye.